Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. Part B I. Hence, find the ascending powers of x up to and including the terms in x square. The binomial expansion of f of x give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. This question got five marks. Now in part B, we are going to find the binomial f expansion of f of x. We have two fractions here. Write the first one as 3 times 1 minus x power negative 1, where you can apply the binomial expansion because the first term is 1. But here, if you write it in this form, 2 plus 3x power negative 1, you cannot apply binomial expansion because the first term is not 1. So you need to take out these two as a common factor. This one stays the same. 4. If you take 2 as a common factor, it will come out with the power. 2 power negative 1, 1 plus 3 over 2x. So it's basically 1 over 2. two 4 times 1 over 2 is 2. 3 times 1 minus x power negative 1, 2, 1 plus 3x by 2 power negative. And then only you can apply the binomial expansion. So the binomial expansion is this. If you have 1 plus x to the power n, it's 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared and n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 by 3 factorial x cubed. But we want the expansion till x squared only. So I'm going to write this as 3, 1 plus nx. n is the power, x is the second term, in this case minus x. Plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared. That's it. Stop right here. 2. 1 plus n, n is the power, x is the second term, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared. Simplify and open the bracket, you will get 3, this is going to be positive x, so plus 3x. Here it's going to be negative 2, positive 2, this will be cancelled, so you will get 3x squared plus here you will get 2, you don't need a bracket here actually, 2 times 1, 2, this becomes negative 3x, when you multiply by 2, 2, 2 will be cancelled, you will get negative 3x, here it's 2, 2 will be cancelled, you will get 9x squared over 4, multiply by 2, you will get 9x squared over 2, and then simplify, these two can be cancelled, 3 plus 2 is 5. When you simplify these two, you will get 6x squared, 15x squared over 2. That's the binomial expansion. Double I. Find the range of values of x for which this expansion is valid. This question got one more. In B double I, we need to find the range of values of x for which the expansion is valid. So, to find the range of values, you need to look at the step where you apply the binomial expansion. This is where we applied, not here, right? We rearranged it, we applied binomial expansion right from here. So here, take the second term, put it as less than 1 for this one. And for this one, modulus second term is less than 1. Make x as a subject. Modulus of minus x is basically x. Modulus x is less than 1 and bring 3 over 2 outside so modulus x is less than 2 over 3 bring it here so when you have two inequalities you need to find the intersection of this it's basically this is basically the first one is basically minus 1 to 1 this one without modulus sign you can write it as to write it as this way so you need to find the intersection of these two inequalities. You don't need to do that, I'll show you a shortcut, but I'm trying to explain this first. So this is smaller than 1, so if you draw a number line, you have negative 1, 1 here, negative, uh, sorry, negative 1, 1 here, 2 over 3, negative 2 over 3 here. So this inequality is this, negative 1 to 1 is this. You need to find the intersection of these two number lines. What is the intersection? The region where you have both number lines. 
which is from minus 2 over 3 to 2 over 3. That's the solution. But what is the shortcut here? Always take the smaller number. This is a smaller number. Therefore, the final solution is this. You can ignore this.